first thing you'll want to have, you'll have your piece of wood, you'll have it marked on where you need to drill it. You'll have a scrap piece of wood. Okay, you can get the scrap piece of wood out of the scrap box. We'll have clamp. Okay, we've got plenty of clamps found right along this countertop. You want to be careful because they are heavy. Uh, you don't want to drop them. You can easily adjust them by pinching the metal part on the inside underneath here or the outside here and adjust them up or down. And then your final part, you would twist righty tighty, lefty loosey on the wooden handle. All right. So we have drill bits. And we have regular drill bits that are found in the red toolbox there in the open drawer on the right side, closest to us. We have chuck keys that are found on the open drawer on the left side. Chuck keys come in a little bit different sizes. The bigger ones go to the bigger machines. The smaller chuck, uh, chuck keys go to the smaller machines. And the medium size go to these medium machines. Uh, you simply put them in the side here, righty tighty, lefty loosey. If I were changing this out, turn it to the left, I would change this out, put in the one I need. Okay, put in the one I need, and then simply tighten it as tight as I can get it. Nice and snug without it being loose and wobbling around there. All right, I do have other drill bits. And in the drawer over there, you'll find everything from like a 16th of an inch to about 3 quarters. Then we have bigger ones yet. We have a spade drill bit, and we have a chuck bit. Okay, spade bits are like the ace of spades. Uh, Chuck bits will chuck pieces of wood everywhere, and big pieces. You want to make sure you have your safety glasses on, everybody's out of the way. All right, so I've got my drill bit tightened with my chuck key. I've got my scrap wood on the table so I don't drill into the metal plate, metal table. I'm going to first line up the table, and you can see I have it movable, okay, it is unlocked. You can adjust it left or right. I can adjust it up or down here. I'm going to line it up. Now, I'm not going to tighten it all the way. Okay, I'm going to line it up with X marks the spot, line it up there. I'm going to lock down my table so my table doesn't move. And then I'm going to tighten it just a little bit, not really tight because I want to make sure I'm still lined up. I'm going to look at it to, towards the front. I'm also going to look at it at the side, make sure it is still lined up, and then give it a nice squeeze and tighten and make sure everything's locked down. All right, I'm adjusting it all with the machine turned off. Turning it up turns it on, down turns it off, and you'll notice this will be the only moving part on the machine. So I want to make sure my sleeves and my hair are away from it. Turn it on. Grab it with my right hand. Come on down. Throw the hole. Pull back up. Okay, if you ever smell smoke, turn it off immediately. If you're ever having a problem going down, stop where you're at. See if there's a knot or something else in the way. Uh, wait for it to come to a complete stop and you're done. Don't ever reach across if you're left handed because it Doing the left-handed, you can't see what you're doing, and also exposing your sleeve to the moving part. 